this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us choose to rejoice. Let us choose gladness as we come into his presence once again on this day. Today, Wednesday, the 7th of February, 2024. So hello and good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on PHBC Radio. I am Pastor Deji Ayoride. Welcome. Welcome. I want to say welcome to those of you right across the UK uh, and welcome to those of you in Germany and today we are seeing people in Belgium. I just want to remind you, tell you, encourage you, um, whether you're in the UK, uh, Germany, Belgium, joining the prayer right now, the Lord hears you and the Lord sees you because he loves you. So welcome. Thank you for coming. It is our practice when we, um, when we go to the word of God, it is our practice uh, on daily prayer to okay. it is our practice on daily prayer to ensure that we are um, yeah okay uh, seems like we're having audio issues it is our practice whenever we are on daily prayer to ensure that we do whatever we do is grounded in the word of God um, and so today we are um, going to do just that um, and go to the word of God the Bible verse for today the Bible verse for now um, comes from the book of Psalms Psalm 97, which is Bible Gateway's verse of the day. Psalm 97, verse 10. Psalm 97, verse 10. And it says this, Psalm 97, 10. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the lives of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the lives of his faithful one and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. So, when I read this verse, um, when I read this verse, talking about those who love the Lord and it is important that we hate evil particularly the second half says he guards the lives of the faithful ones delivers them from the hand of the wicked what is before you today what is before you today what are you facing what battles are you facing What challenges are you facing? Today's prayer is for the peace of God. And when I look at this text, number one, we love God so we must hate evil, fine. Because he guards the lives of his faithful ones. As we continue and persist 
in faithfulness, the faithfulness of God, as we continue to press into God, into the more of God, of who God is, pressing in to the more of what God is doing. He is the one that protects us. He is the one that guides us. He is the one that keeps us. And so that is our focus for today. Lord, keep me. The Bible talks about being kept under the shadow of his wing and being kept in his perfect peace. In the time we've been broadcasting, I also want to welcome those uh, not just from the UK, Germany, Belgium, but also Netherlands and the United States. The Lord sees you and he hears you. So together at this time, one heart, one spirit, before the one true God, let us pray. Loving God, everlasting God, God of all creation, Father God, we come and we praise you, for you are the Almighty One. We praise you, for you are our God, enthroned on our praises, robed in splendor, seated in majesty. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. The greatest God, the one that existed before any other, we praise you, God. Today, God, I come and I bless and I magnify your holy name. And I do so, God, because you are worthy. I do so, God, because there is none like you. I do so, God, because I choose to praise you, God. I could never have enough praise. It is impossible to overpraise you, Almighty One, the Alpha, the Omega, the First, the Last, the Beginning, the End, the One self existing outside of time and space. Who is like you, God? All other gods are the works of the imagination of men. And we thank you, Father God, for your goodness and your mercy unto us. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your work, your sacrifice. Thank you for your love, your saving grace. Thank you that you paid for me. And Lord Jesus, you said, as we read your word today, reminding us, number one, to hate evil, but reminding us that you guard our lives. You guard our lives. You deliver us from the hand of the wicked. We remember, Lord, that you are a just God. You're a God of love. You're a God of mercy. And actually, in this moment, Lord, we remember to lean on your mercy, to come to you asking, Lord God, for forgiveness. where we have sinned against you, God, in our words, in our actions, our choices, where we have sinned against you, even in our secret, private thoughts, in the attitudes of our hearts, Father, we ask your forgiveness. Lord God, we thank you that you're a loving God, a merciful God. And so, Father, we lean on your mercy. We lean on your love that cannot end, your steadfast love that does not cease. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for your favor over us. And we remember, we, we, as we read your word, we remember, Lord, that in you, with you, we can be at peace. Lord Jesus, you told us about the peace you give us, a peace that goes beyond, transcends understanding. The peace you give us is not It's not the world's peace. It's not the London peace. It's not the government's peace. It's not the peace our money gives us. It's not the peace the roof over our heads give us. And you said we should not let our hearts be troubled. So God, today we come. In the middle of the the, the busyness and the hecticness 
of our lives in the middle of the the, 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 the hundred items on the to-do lists in the middle of the the the, the, the draw the, the the pressures of family and work and schedules and moving and, and, and serving and living and earning we come to you God it's easy in the middle of all of this to be anxious to be stressed to be fearful Yet, Lord God, today we remember your gift of peace. You are the Prince of Peace, Lord Jesus. And we remember that. You came and you gave us peace. Holy Spirit, thank you for your comfort. You coming alongside us, counseling us, leading us. Lord Jesus, we call on you today. We acknowledge you are the only way to have lasting peace the only way for true peace in our lives internal peace external peace family peace the only way to true peace is through you and we thank you lord god we've got difficulties many of us are facing challenges trials temptations pressures roundabout but lord you overcame the world so that we can have peace father god we thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you that we are justified by faith so that we can have peace. And Lord Jesus, you came. <laughs> the price you paid was no small thing. Many of us remember the debt that we owed that we couldn't pay. And Lord God, you remind us, you tell us in your word that those whose minds are fixed on you, you, you keep in perfect peace. Today we're reminded that you're the one who guards the lives of your faithful ones. You deliver us from the hands of the wicked. So Father God, I come and I thank you, Lord, for your deliverance against every injustice, every injustice that we may face. Whether it's relational, whether it's in our offices, who, wherever, whatever direction coming from, thank you, Lord God, that we have your peace. We know you are the deliverer. You save us, you keep us, you rescue us. Father God, for those moments where we haven't trusted you, we pray your forgiveness. Those moments where we have sought to, to control things, our will be done, not yours, we ask your forgiveness. Help us, Lord God, to rest on your sovereignty. Help us, Lord God, to yield our ways to you, to yield our choice to you, Lord God. Thank you, God, for your grace. As you continue to journey with us, walk alongside us, hem us in left, right, front and back. Thank you, Lord God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will empower us, that we will be people of peace, people of assurance, a confidence that is in you. Father God, may our lives continue to reflect the confidence that we have in you, that you who begun a good work in us are faithful to see it through to its completion. Father God, help us, Lord God, to continue to pursue your peace in the world in which we live. Help us, Lord God, to live in peace in this world in which we live. We know that doing this, being people of peace, living in peace is not easy. We ask, Lord God, for the confidence, the boldness, the strength, the wisdom to walk in an assurance of your presence with us, Lord God. Because you are our shepherd, we have absolutely 100% of everything that we will ever need. So, Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. Whatever age or stage or stature, whatever part of our journey, Lord God, may we continue to see you and acknowledge you, Lord God, as we walk in your peace. And we give you thanks and praise, believing we've received it all by faith in Jesus on this day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen.